77-year-old Beppe Bagazzi relishes his role as a celebrity chef in Italy. His grandfatherly looks and distinguished presence grace national television for a decade. But it may come to an end because Bagazzi refuses to apologize for broadcasting a recipe to cook a cat. I spoke only of what happened 70 years ago, he says. Historical fact, period. When they accuse me of giving the cat recipe, it's their problem, not mine. Non mio. Che in Valdano si chiama Berlingaccio. It all started on February 10th when Chef Bagazzi recalled on television that decades ago Italians in Tuscany dined on cat meat. Host Elisa Iswardi looked aghast as Bagazzi described how to put the cat in running water for three days to tenderize the meat. But the chef went on and on, assuring everyone it was delicious as Iswardi ultimately tried to hide behind the vegetables. It was hardly surprising that Chef Beppe's cat casserole recipe comments caused an uproar. There's no shortage of animal lovers here in Italy, and cats hold a very special place here in the ruins of ancient Rome. Proibito per legge. Bigazzi talked about doing something that is against Italian law, says Carlo Rocchi. He claims he was only citing historical fact. The truth is that Bagazzi only wanted one thing, his moment of fame. Well, he got it, but in a negative way. Rocchi and other animal rights activists shouted out their own recipe for Beppe stew from headquarters at the Cat Sanctuary in Torre, Argentina, in the heart of Rome. Bagazzi was suspended as a TV chef. A public debate ensued. I think it raised a lot of questions in a lot of people's minds. And I think it showed once more that people who are interested in animal welfare have been organized, do have a voice, strong voice. Julius Caesar is said to have been assassinated in these ruins. Today, it is literally ruled by the cats. Cross them at your own peril. They've become a tourist attraction complete with a feline gift shop. Of course, you can adopt one of these cats unless, as one volunteer joked, you're seen arriving with a cooking pan. As for Chef Bagazzi, he says the animal rights activists don't listen. He was just talking history, and he doesn't remember how the cat tasted. Because we were so hungry, he told me, and because my mother cooked it, it must have been good. Memories are a good thing, usually. But sometimes, like a cat, you're better off keeping them to yourself.